Ugandans have not reaped much from the newly established national carrier Uganda Airlines because many would-be suppliers do not meet the required specifications according to international standards. The chief executive officer of Uganda Airlines, Jennifer Bamturaki, says they have unique specifications and consistency in the supplies and strict guidelines for one to qualify. She said this during the Uganda Airlines Suppliers Forum in Kampala today. When we say consistent, if the size is a certain diameter or centimeter, all the 1,000 or 3,000 we order should be the same size. If the look and feel looks a particular way, all the 1,000 we've ordered should look a particular way. I gave an example of our in-flight um, amenity bag. We tried here. We went to organizations that actually have these kind of products in nice African, but we wanted something that looked like back cloth. You remember the, the theme of the Airbus. Um, we couldn't get that consistency. So we were forced to go back internationally. My fellow Ugandans have a way where they do something very well for just a few months, then they slide back. We will have very strict procedures to make sure you remain in line. So yeah, we will definitely train. During the forum, Local suppliers were also tasked to look out for more items to supply than looking at food, clothing and drinks. 60-70% of our money goes into procurement. And I believe the biggest budget of Uganda Airlines is going into procurement. They may be at 80%. The nation may be at 60-70%, but airlines, and that's why you are here. And you as suppliers, you must place yourself strategically in the industry. Understand the industry. Don't just say Uganda Airlines only need the food or what. There are many things that the airlines need, and they will be telling you the opportunities. I don't want to go through them. There are so, so many opportunities that are around the airline. Uganda Airlines this coming financial year 2024-2025 has set aside about $95 million, which they intend to use for supply services and works. Betty Dagire, NTV Business.